Right now I'm heading to my work. Uh, I'm a data analyst at an advertising company. Uh, I'm 28 years old right now. So my journey's been trying to go pro for two or three years now. I had to give up a few things, you know. I've had to quit my job once. Two years ago, I was able to uh, move to a gaming house for a few months to try to qualify for uh, NACS. We ended up not qualifying and uh, started working my normal job again. Wasn't too happy about it, let's just say that for a while. What keeps me motivated is that I'm one of the best at something in the world, and this is playing league. And this is something that I don't think I could pass up, and I would regret it if I just stopped. Scouting Grounds or Academy will probably be my last chance to make it. Tools and the opportunity affect your cruising out too. How you gonna make it to the league? We are currently attending scouting grounds, so basically Riot invited the top 20, I believe, challengers. What you, you take the ladder, you remove all the official LCS players, you invite the rest, and you also invite all the teams. You put all those people in the same area, and the teams are just there to scout potential new talents. I'm super excited for this moment. I've been kind of absent from the challenger scene for the past year. And ever since I failed getting into the LCS promotion in 2016 summer, I've been aching to get back into the action. We are looking to see how players stack up against each other, and the teams are gathering data to split us into four teams that we will stay together with. Working with coaches is super important. Here, you don't get a lot of you know, one on one time with a coach, but when you do, you have to make sure you listen to everything they say them looking over your shoulder, it's easier for them to see what you should be looking to do and what you should improve upon. You don't want to mess up. You don't want to be the guy who loses the game in scouting. Uh, there's not many games to scout from, so you have to make sure you're on your best foot forward in these games to show your best self. I think this does lead into the next play. Because... The whole point of scouting grounds is to give them the experience of a pro lifestyle. Uh, I think that Every single amateur player is going to take a lot from this experience. We don't play on channel very yeah, well. Like, like when you were Dynasty Syndrome, you didn't say shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. when you were getting all day, like then you had Shen, just be like Shen, all me, like yeah. now, now, oh, Shen, all me. Because I'm, you know? I'm trying, like, I'm like, trying hard to work. Because he's focused on his thing too. Yeah. So like when you're getting Syndrome all day, just be like, I need yeah, fucking Shen, show um, me yeah. now, or I'm gonna die. I definitely think that I fall within the upper quartile of the players here, but I don't really want to get overconfident. Uh, I've already been told that I have a pretty big ego. So oh, I don't, I don't want to let my ego uh, get ahead of me. Well, I just had two really good dragon seeds. Yeah. Who's that guy? I never saw him. He's uh, 17. Played badminton for like 10 years or something. <laughs> I want to play as best as I can, and I don't really want to look down on any of these players. I think that they all have potential, and I need to show that I am better than them. He seems like one of the best mechanical amateur junglers, but I'm sure that this experience will allow him to reach a new stage where he has to focus more on fundamentals, he has to focus more on communication, something that he hasn't been able to practice in solo queue. Put your dog. You guys. The last memories really people had of me was probably us losing 3-2 to Dignitas in the finals for the promotion tournament back in Season 5. And really, the, the stark memory in my mind from that game is when Kiwi Kid he hit the five-man pulverize on all of us. We lost the team fight, we lost the Baron, we lost the game, and honestly, a lot of us lost our pro career. Nian hasn't played since, I haven't played since, who he's done well, but really that's the last people have seen of Nintendude and that kind of hurts. It has been a dream of mine ever since season one. Basically any pro player that has ever existed, I have looked up to and idolized. And Nintendude, playing in season three, got to the finals of LCS. To me, he'll always be on that pillar of so close to becoming an LCS champion that whenever I think about him, 
I just think about, I like look up mentally in my head and uh, imagine what it's like just being at the same place and stage as him. I just want to like be the biggest fan boy to everyone. You know what I mean? But professional. <laughs> dude, dude, last year I came in, I was a CLG fan. I had a CLG hat. I was like, after me sign my hat, I have the signatures. So it's cool, bro. Just be, be, be whatever you want to be. If you want a fanboy, go for it, dude. Dude, I fanboyed and gone on that team. So, so maybe fanboying is the key. Maybe. To getting on a team. No. I wonder what team I'm going to be drafted on. What team do you want to be drafted on? Do I? Oh, probably TSM. TSM? Yeah. But Last year, I remember when I was watching Scouting Grounds, Omar God was one of the guys who stood out to me because watching this guy run over everybody every game in the jungle was a lot of fun. He apparently stood out to a lot of the orgs and teams as well. He ends up showing up in the NALCS this year. I want to see who's the Omar God this time around. I want to see who stands out to these teams because I guarantee you, at the end of the day, you're going to have a couple of names out of these 20 guys that are going around and people are saying, wow, that dude went off. That's what's going to be fun to see. Which guys do manage to be those hype machines? Which guys do manage to get that sort of energy built up around them? And how far can they take it? Welcome to the 2017 North American Scouting Grounds. First up is the third place match between CLG's Team Mountain Drake and C9's Team Cloud Drake. I think our combat go. actually busted, by the way. Yeah. Love it. Let's go, dudes. Let's sit on this, let's dude. Let's go. Yeah, they're going for me mid. They're going for me mid. They're going for me mid. Yeah, we're coming. We're coming. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. It's head dude. damage coming down. Let's say going to be bursted first. First blood over the way of a blaze. All of Fnatic goes down. And then dude X grabbing himself the kill. All right. Good job, guys. Really good job, guys. The thing that stands out to me about a blaze olive, double-edged sword. He's going to make a play to further the game. Sometimes it backfires. You want to just really dive in? You want to yeah. dive in? I do. Speaking of making those plays, they're able to go in, find the ultimate, but the flash away from Lin Sanity, and the aggro is punished. Nintendo Dude X will make it two over to Team Cloud. That's okay, that's okay. From a game that was initially in Mountain's control and then drastically shifts towards Cloud's control, now we're drastically shifting back. They have no pink, they don't know. Yeah, yeah, can we go, can we go, can we go? Right here, right here. He's rooted. Nice, nice. nice. Run down mid, run, down, run it down, guys. Yeah, I think we end here. And this should be the game. This should be the series. It was very close, but Mountain will find their 2-0 win. Good job, guys. Very good job. Yes. Very good job. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Our team play as a team was actually quite good. I think my performance overall was kind of average. I'm not expecting to get first picked after my performance, but you know, I'm hoping for the best. I hope someone drafts me, and I hope I can uh, prove what I can do in Academy. Welcome back to the Battle Arena. We're here for another best of three, this time between Team Ocean and Team Infernal. Blabberfish 2, I've heard some things about this guy, and a quote that stood out to me from the management was, easily LCS ready in a year. From the T some drops to Palafox, Baron below split. one quarter HP. Nothing but Black a flick goes of the wrist. down, uh, Blabberfish wants to go in, he's able to find it, is he? Yes! Good, Good lord, man! Let's go, Blabber. Double kill comes through as a quadra kill from Palafox. Tsum shielded the wrong way again. I haven't actually played on a stage this big before, so I was kind of nervous. But I was really looking forward to showing that on the best. So with that, the games might be over, but the show will go on because coming up next is the first ever North American Scouting Grounds draft. I think compared to other players, I have a lot more drive and will like to improve. I've shown that I've, I can get better. If I was put in the right environment with teams, I could improve with them even faster. Welcome to the first North American Scouting Grounds draft. And with the first pick ever, Cloud9 selects League. If no one picks me up after this event, I will keep trying. I am not someone to give up. It's what I want to do in my life more than anything, and I'll just keep trying to move forward.
Echo Fox selects Spica. Cloud9 selects Ash. Clutch Gaming selects Vulcan. Team Liquid selects Valiant. Well, I think my age hurts my prospects, but hopefully other teams will uh, see through that and see me as just a player, not my age, I guess. Clutch Gaming selects Palafox. And with the seventh pick of the North American Scouting Grounds draft, TSM has selected Ablaze. Being on TSM is just an amazing feeling. And I want to prove myself that I'm going to rise up and show my true skill level and show just what I can do. It's going to be an absolute honor to work for them and learn for them and play for their academy team. 100 Thieves has selected Kaizen. And with the ninth pick of the North American Scouting Grounds draft, Cloud9 selects Blabberfish 2. I think C9 is like probably one of the best orgs in esports. When they dropped to me, I was like really surprised and I was really excited. What's next is probably I'm going to finish school uh, in the next six months. But after I finish school, probably going to look to go pro. I'm not done. I'm not satisfied with where I left off, and that's why I'm here. That's the whole reason I'm here. It's unfinished. And with the 10th and final pick of the 2017 North American Scouting Grounds Draft, CounterLogic Gaming selects the dude, Nintendude X. It's a little surreal right now. I'm still not, you know, I haven't fully gotten my head around it yet. I didn't expect to get drafted, but I'm super grateful that I did. I'm just gonna continue with what I'm doing now, working and stuff, but uh, I'll probably pursue League a little bit more, reach out a little bit more, and uh, see where it leads me. Opportunity is all about what you make of it, right? So, I mean, it really it's up to the individual situation. If one of these young players comes on stage, gets an opportunity, and impresses, you know, what, what more could you want?